everything was all over the place. So what we did was we used our templates, rolled out exactly what they had, but properly. Turn off the applications, take a snapshot, move that over to flip some DNS switches. Everything worked great. It was funny because it was that easy. They were impressed. My name is David DeWong. I'm a DevOps engineer at ScalePoint Solutions. What I enjoy the most is get to, to play with new tech. We build camaraderie, build friendships. We're there to work with the team, get them up to where they need to be, but also be like human beings where we, we, you know, we're meeting great people, building great friendships. We get familiar with the, the client's workflow. They're using Jira or Slack. We integrate ourselves into those solutions. So everything feels seamless. From there, we, we provide support or, or any troubleshooting issues that arise. For the DevOps side, our ownership is the infrastructure side of things and the CI CD pipeline. So for example, for uh, the AWS infrastructure, we'll, we'll handle everything there and we'll include the, the, the CI CD pipeline when you know deploying new infrastructure that comes out, but we'll also help you with troubleshooting applications, but we're not physically there to develop your applications. Uh, we're just there to maintain the, the foundation. We already have a template of the infrastructure that already includes security, high availability, and the important part is the infrastructure's code. So when you know, new engineers come in, we're there to help those engineers bring them up to speed, uh, get them familiar with the architecture. We're just there to, to help support them. Infrastructure as code is, is super important because it cements your, your infrastructure as a source of truth, and it allows you to replicate whatever you have into a different region or into multiple regions. If, if we're going to uh, build a new infrastructure and we don't have this library, it will probably take us a while because we have to hard, we have to code this manually and then push it up from there, right? But this, we could just pick and choose. Our job is to come in and make it easy for developers to push their code out into the environments. You know, with that being said, we also add in key elements into the, the pipeline. So for example, when a developer pushes up their code, we make sure we build and test that uh, and make sure that packages are up and secure. But we also add great benefits into that as well. I know there's a lot of applications that require DB migrate and a lot of... Uh, Developers will have to manually go into the servers and, or the database and run DB migrate. We can actually integrate that into the pipeline as well. We can up, we can add in uh, Slack notifications if things fail. We deploy the application once everything's working, and if everything's good, then it'll just automatically promote into the the next environment. This is all automated, and and that's the the big advantage point is that everything's automated. For example, there's a, a client that. We managed to uh, reduce their deployment time by 40%. Our fastest AWS launch uh, so far is six weeks. Uh, we just went in with our template and because infrastructure is code, we just went in and just laid that foundation there in six weeks. Everything was all over the place. Uh, so their dev and QA uh, and even prod as well, everything was everywhere. So what we did was we we wrote we used our templates, rolled out exactly what they had, but properly. Uh, so in the dev QA, even prod uh, on separate accounts, rolled out their applications, and everything was going smooth. So the biggest migration challenge was migrating the database from their old account to their new. We did a series of tests before the big migration. Find out what exactly what we had to do. So we create a, a mop, which is a method of procedure. And we just follow that precisely. Uptime had to be 99.99%. And we had a very short window to to do this. And we did this at night when, when traffic was very low. So what we did was we just simply just turn off the, the applications from the old account, take a snapshot of the old database, move that over to the new account and then flip some DNS switches. And then there we go. Everything worked great. Uh, it was funny because they were actually surprised that it was that easy. They were, they were impressed. The biggest benefit as well is that w once we built that new infrastructure, we've, we've cleaned up all the, 
all the things that were left over in from the the previous accounts. Uh, so since everything's infrastructure's code, uh, they were able to see what they're supposed to have. There's there's some companies with engineers where they will build something and just leave it there, and that will just co costs will start building up. Uh, so we were able to eliminate all the unnecessary service services that were deployed, but also save money for the company.